Today we got some rumored specification about the Nikon 6S. Now Nikon Z6 and the Nikon Z7 released on 2018. So it has been two years since we didn't get any update from the Nikon. And I think it is the perfect time to get an update from the Nikon Z lineup. And the update will be Nikon 6S and the Nikon 7S. In this video, I am going to talk about the Nikon 6S. Let's go to the main specification. On the first hand, we'll be getting a 24 megapixel full frame BSI, that means back sided illuminated CMOS sensor. In this camera, we'll be getting a 4K video recording capability up to 120 FPS. Unfortunately, it will not be having any kind of 8K video recording or 5.5K video recording like the Canon cameras and it will deliver that video in 4 to 2 to 2 at 10 bits so that will be great and according to this news Nikon also will give and 14 stops of dynamic range with this so that will be great and Nikon also introduced a next generation in body image stabilization with the Nikon 6s so we are thinking that the result will be awesome and the slow motion video category will get 180 fps 120 fps, 100 fps and later 60 fps, 24 fps, 25 fps also in the full HD. So that will be the main video graphic features with that the screen will be totally articulated screen, totally touch screen so that will be just great and with a single touch you can change your settings, you can start or stop your video recording and also you can choose autofocus system so that will be great and if you are on the market and wanted to buy a great autofocusing capability in camera like movie tracking or tracking app then you probably gonna with the sony or the canon they are the best in class but nikon is also improving from their last nikon jet lineup and that is great so they will also improvise actually refined mechanism so that will improve the autofocus system also the face detection and the eye detection with animal eye detection will be improved also there will be two card slot and those card slot will be high speed so that will be great and there will be a full hdmi supports for external monitor and i think that will be a deal changer for many of the videographers because many of the cameras are photography oriented like the Panasonic S5 but they only have a micro HDMI cable. Micro HDMI cable is also good to have in a camera but I think full HDMI will be the standard in videography. Now all of this will be coming in a price tag of $2499. Now the same price tag of the Canon US R6 but you have to remember that with this camera we can shoot at 120 fps at 4k so that will be great and we will get this camera in the first quarter of 2021. I am thinking that we are getting this camera in our hand in the March or April month of 2021. So that's all I have to say about the Nikon 6s. Goodbye guys, have a nice day and if you love this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Goodbye for now, see you guys in the next video.